We're very excited to be here at the Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester um, because Manchester for us is uh, a great uh, place to be revealing the Science of Engagement project. It's been so successful, um, it's most successful um, of all the UK agencies. So it's, it's an honour to, to be here presenting this today. Science of Engagement is, is a project that's born of um, our wish as an agency and need as an agency to talk more broadly about engagement um, with consumers and with different audiences. It's also born of a need for us um, as an agency of marketers and communicators in general to, 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 to think about different ways of engagement at a time where our brains are, are being subject to much, much more information um, than ever before. Um, I think probably two most important things are uh, psychology really matters. Uh, I do a lot of work in psychology in my business uh, today, uh, but to extend that out into brand would be a really good thing. Uh, and the second thing is, is actually um, that, that never assume, and I think there's one really big gap that people have uh, who run brands, is that you can't make a constant assumption about who your customer is. Uh, you can never assume the world's changing far too quickly now. The two things that I've taken from today is the importance of a sense of belonging. Um, I kind of always knew that that, that was the case, uh, but it was, uh, it was really good to see all of those tenants written down and to try and apply them to my own job and think actually, you know, could I bring more of a sense of belonging, could I bring more of a sense of um, intrigue into, into my own role. So uh, yeah, more than two things actually, there's loads of things that I've taken from today. I think it's about authenticity, it's alright for a brand to say we are all these things that we, because we want them to be, we want to be great at customer service, great at customer experience, honest, loyal, true, all those things, but if they don't deliver it, that's what I'm going away from this thinking, yeah that's all very well, but they've actually got to be able to deliver it, get that through to employees, get that away to everybody who touches the brand in its delivery sense, because if they don't, then it's all just a very nice idea. Well, what I found really interesting and what I will take away is um, the need for organisations to let go of their brand. So particularly in the online world, um, successful consumer websites, they give their customers a lot of freedom to make comments online, really take ownership of the brand. Uh, those organisations are unafraid for customers maybe to slag them off a little bit online because what they tend to get if they're confident and if they provide good customer service is overwhelmingly positive feedback and brilliant advocacy online. So that need just to let go, I think, is pivotal to the success of engaging people with brands.